Hello and a very warm welcome to your local cable TV station, Swindon Cable. You're watching the local channel. Well, that was the scene in our car park on Saturday the 7th of June 1986 as we prepared for this year's carnival procession. We had our own float entered, the theme being some of the very varied cable TV channels we offer you, including Screen Sport, Music Box and Children's Channel. And indeed, you may have seen us on the procession. Well, let's go across now to where the actual procession started, the old garage site off Newcastle Street, where the floats began to arrive just after 11 o'clock. The 46 floats, some voluntary and some commercially entered, underwent final preparations for the procession of 1986, before being judged by Shirley Ledford of GWR Radio, Mr Ron Fisher of Arkles Brewery, and David Ainscoff, the Senior Youth and Community Officer of the Borough of Thamesdown, and of course that familiar face of Miss Lovely Lex, Anna Dinning, to find the best of the commercial and voluntary entered floats that made up this year's carnival for 1986. Well, there we are, all the judging's been done. The route now is through the town centre, all the way down to the Coke Water along Warborough Road. We invite you to join us on the Swindon Cable Float to Coke Water. So the floats made their way along Newcastle Street on the start of this four mile route. And as Nobby said, up through the town centre of Victoria Hill, through Old Town, down Morpa Road and on to Coat Water. The procession was watched by an estimated crowd of over 5,000 people. And the aim of the people on the floats? Well, to raise as much money as possible for the local charities and maybe break the record of money raised in past years, which stood at £1,500. Maybe you picked a favourite float in the procession. Nobby Scott and watch some of them go by. And we're now just at the bottom of Victoria Hill. As the floats come by us. A lot of young children seem to be enjoying yourselves. In our position. Everybody having great fun. Players. As well at the back, with our lovely Sandra Doan on the back waving to us. The reason Swin and Cable actually entered it, it's a new exciting era. Cable is just in the virtually the embryo stage and this is it. Swindon, this is where it started and it's something to be proud of. This is why we got involved with the actual people of Swindon and you just have to look for yourself. It's absolutely fantastic. So the future holds bright for Swindon Cable? Definitely. It's, it's on the up and up all the time. You know, there's no doubt about it. Um, cable television is here to stay. The support that we've had from the people throwing the money in the buckets, talking to us about cable, when's it coming to their area, things like that is absolutely marvellous. It's just, you know, it's coming. But before we finish, let's find out the winner of the best turned out float in the voluntary section. It was the Penhill Preschool Playgroup Parents Association. On arrival at Cope, there were over 1,500 people watching the carnival come in. And money raised was a fantastic £1,200, just £300 down on the best year. Not bad for a carnival procession run on a grant from Allied Dunbar of only £100. A 
And don't forget, if you're interested in cable, then the number to ring to find out more is Swindon 615 601. That's Swindon 615 601.